federal government should end restrictions that allow the Secretary of the Interior to block production of wind and solar energy in tribal energy resource agreements. Those regulations deter investment and cycle native control over energy development reform is necessary to boost native sovereignty and effective renewable energy production. Kronk 12, tribes that test the self-development of energy, those outside of Indian country have institutionally expressed interest, terror offer the potential to significantly improve investor confidence and enhance renewable energy. Several tribes expressed interest in terrorist tribes decline terrorists because of federally mandated environmental review. The review places additional regulatory burdens on tribes. Reform encompasses stronger opportunity for sovereignty. The trust doctrine can protect tribes' autonomy or justify federal power over tribal affairs. Federal decision-making authority over energy is detrimental to self-determination no maximize energy development and promote self-determination. The government should remove federal conditions on development. If tribes are to be sovereign, they must have control and also bear liability. Tribes express strong concerns about federal review provisions that disrupt tribal governance and subject tribal governance to standards not applicable to the state. Reform and power tribes to become true decision-makers. Tribes, as decision-makers, perform better. Sovereignty is tied to economic success. Federal control over decision-making is a primary inhibitor to reservation prosperity. Tribes that increase decision-making wealth demonstrate success. Statistical analysis show that tribal control results in better timber management. Empirical proof exists that analogous to energy tribes itself when allowed to exercise authority. Tribal control of the federal programs is better than federal control, but a clear second best of tribal choices of what programs and development opportunities by eliminating the requirement. Tribes have increased authority, which increases success. Although some tribes may not be in a position to take an increased decision-making, those that are should be empowered. Failure to recognize that tribes are capable of decision-making would see tribal nations frozen in a perpetual state of tutelage. Federal restrictions allow for arbitrary interference in native energy projects and are antithetical to native sovereignty. Unger in 10. The, uh, the government's posture should be to grant, grant control to tribes. Removing the federal functions provision will help shift the presumption of tribes when a party brings a claim that a tribe did not comply. Re regulations allow the secretary to reject a tribe's resolution, even though the framework purport to foster a tribe's ability to control regulations, enable second guessing, should be revised to view the trust as a responsibility, as a duty to protect self determination. Trust allows federal assertion of control at the expense of self determination. Concerned about the government abdicating trust are unwarranted. Advocates who emphasize that terrorists are volunteer recognize the importance of self-determined resource development and the act's explicit recognition of the trust responsibility offered insurance remains intact. Jero should be encouraged tribal participation. The firm has been called a garden effort to allow tribes to determine resource development, but a garden effort may not be enough to foster self-determination. Self-determination is tribes' right to govern themselves. When the government dictates the terms under which tribes can take control of development, if this remains unfulfilled, a Terra would enable sustainable economic development. Terra provides an opportunity for tribes to have ownership rather than hit the remaining regulators or development undertaken by other tribes can choose to use this tool or forego in favor of more protective framework tires. Allow tribes to choose self-determination, harmonizing the trust obligation without present reality changes can help tribes achieve wind power in a self-determined way. The status quo allows for cycles of structural violence to occur on native land. Sovereign development of renewable energy is necessary to combat fossil fuel colonials and Gao 9. A just nation-to-nation -nation relationship means breaking the cycle of asking Native America to choose between economic development and preservation of its cultures and lands. Renewable energy provide opportunity to do both wind and solar catalyzed development in the forest communities in the U.S. Exploitation of conventional energy has run a deadly course with a distinctly colonial flavor where tribes have supplied access to abundant resources under trust protection and deals promoted by the government, yet go unserved by benefits. Recent legislation encouraged development of tribal resources without ownership. Electrical generation had devastating impacts in Indian country, cancer from mining waste to respiratory illness. Native philosophies present the earth as vital because we require its resources for our survival. The, uh, The unemployment rate on Indian reservations is twice the national rate. The poverty rate is twice the national average, 14% or without electricity, 10 times the national rate. Assistance programs do nothing to address the cycle of fuel poverty due to the need for a localized fuel economy. Jobs constructing, and installing, and maintaining renewable energy energy tech has huge financial implications for rural economies. Providing renewable energy should be the top priority. Renewable energy allows for a democratic paradigm shift that preserves domestic communities. Leduc and seven native people have an idea horizon where wind turbines and local control of energy arising. This is a movement not about technology, but about what the future should look like. Will it be centralized? Local winds lend themselves to locally controlled production. Centralized power production has centralized political power disconnected. Communities from responsibility and control over energy created a wasteful system. Renewable energy has the opposite effect. The poor are pushed into the margins. Renewable energy is a way to reverse that trend. We need to democratize power production. Alternative energy represents a social and political reconstitution opportunity. Disperse wind provide the opportunity for the possibility for uh, pr production at the tribal or local level. Battle last or local accountability. The definition of democracy. Stronger economies are key to native cultural survival. It's the only way to safeguard rights and identity. Carter 12. Tribal nations should push economic development to secure tribal sovereignty. The true value of economic development was self-determination. The culture of tribal nations being jeopardized. Native American businesses continue to have a major economic impact on the country. People open with false impression that tribal nations are like socialists and that holding private property is discouraged. The only thing that Indians had in common was, uh, was, was the land. We know how to run businesses and support ourselves. The second contention is about global warming. Native lands are prime areas for renewable development and can operate as laboratories that can be modeled. Sullivan in 10. 
The ways we use energy to strengthen our atmosphere and threaten our planet reservation lands are particularly well suited to alternative energy travel companies can act as laboratories in the field of renewable energy development trips are in a unique position to develop innovative approaches to renewable energy. Those can uh, that can offset immense amounts of carbon dioxide down to native peoples occupy a unique position living on the continent with the greatest contribution of greenhouse gas emissions. American Indians hold enormous wealth of renewable energy. The development of even a portion of this abundance could displace significant amounts of electric power currently generated by fossil fuels and indigenous development of parks. Kyoto target seas communities are the minors canaries in the irreversible experiment of climate altering has unleashed upon the atmosphere indigenous peoples in Lead the way both developed and developed countries. Developing countries, indigenous communities can meet local energy needs in developed regions. Native Americans can meet larger scale renewable energy technology for power cells into national markets. Indian tribes from every part of the U.S. have endorsed renewable energy as a no regret strategy to meet sustainable economic development needs. That's key to stave off climate change that threatens native survival. Warming is real and anthropogenic, and only native peoples can solve it. Parker in six, the latest global scientific evidence compels us to recognize that global warming is accelerating. The contested leading climate science is that there's no longer a question whether there's human caused climate change. Native rights are primarily a place based race based on long time occupation of indigenous territory climate change shifts and disrupts land and animal habitats and in doing so forces cultures to adapt to peace conditions without the loss or migration of culturally important species will make it more difficult for elders to practice and pass their knowledge on climate stress will fall directly on the elders as precisely those traditional elders who possess a greater knowledge of how to survive with local natural resources who can recognize the subtle shifts in nature they will directly impact native economies through the loss of economically important plant and animal species and through increased cost of defending against climate change impacts response to travel planning could serve as a model for non-native communities this is one area where indigenous climate change concerns intersect with intergovernmental cooperation u.s tribes can use their sovereignty to promote federal actions to prevent, mitigate, and adopt to climate change. Native nations can also bring legal and political pressure to bear upon their settler states based on potential liabilities or impacts of their trust resources by climate change. They can demand that agencies change law and policy to recognize tribal rights and shifting species and resources. Solvency. The plan resolves economic development in line with indigenous culture. It sends a signal of native sovereignty globally. Cronk 10. Native communities have sought to develop mechanisms for diversifying economic development, whereas Native nations make their own decisions about what approach to take and what resources to develop. They outperform decision making. Native culture shores up the strength of the government. Alternative energy projects in Indian country reflect these successful development. Alternative energy projects allow Native nations the chance to affirmably decide to participate in programs increasing their perception of Native sovereignty within the dominant society. Alternative energy opportunities can protect Native cultural resources as proposed projects have limited impact on the environment. Indian tribes are ready for nation building at home by developing green energy. Framing the plan through the federal trust responsibility is key because it creates self sufficiency. Grossman in six a direct involvement of indigenous governments could gain more results by framing native concerns in a government to government context through federal trust responsibility. Indigenous climate change advocacy up here devised by the, the established global system, the development of a renewable energy system, and indigenous communities can develop travel economies and build a new web of economic relationship with the non native governments. These approaches may initially be relying on national government funding, but can help build a de facto sovereign reality. Only the plan works. Every strategy that isn't it fails. The plan reinvigorates the trust structure to reduce dependency on the government. Mills in six energy development promotes economic development through building capacity within tribes to manage and carry out projects. Part of the era of self determination, federal policy was oriented towards steadily determining the trust responsibility. Travel activists increasingly demanded responsibility over their own reservations. Their aim was to change the federal government's orientation while Native Americans became assimilated that recognized tribes' desire to maintain their reservation system and choose their own future. One of the elements that linked tribal self-determination to increase economic development was tribes began to take leadership roles in projects on their land. Tribally managed projects transfer skills to members and enhance employment and led to retention of expenditures in the tribal economy. Federal policy supporting the freedom of the Indian nations to control their own resources is the only policy orientation that works. Everything else is failed. Energy development can play an important role in economic development by building capacity within tribes and providing revenue to travel government for economic development projects. Energy offers the same potential as energy development and boosting economic development through capacity building and self-determination. The federal government plays an important role in enabling tribes to develop renewable energy. The purpose, the purpose is not to just develop the resource. The program also aims to build capacity within the tribes to manage energy projects. Tribes feel that without funds from energy projects, they would be chronically dependent on federal funds. Failure to support the trust structure leaves no check on federal and state relationship with the tribes. It can act as a successful balance of power within states. Wilkins in two. Growing resentment from the antitrust segment denies that the trust structure carries any legally enforceable ob obligation. Trust responsibility does create legally enforceable duties for federal officials in their dealings with Indians. The trust structure provides a check on federal and state action which may endanger Indian rights. The trust structure emanates from a unique relationship between the U.S. and Indians in which the federal government undertook the obligation to ensure the survival of Indians. Its broad purpose is to protect self-government. Reforming Terra is key to outside investment and native ownership. Royster 2. Approval process induces delay in federal override of travel decision. Federal approval takes years in planning costs as well as increases the likelihood that investors will look us for the determination of best interest involves federal paternalism. None of these statutes provide more partnerships with non-Indian energy companies. That middle ground is crucial. Are you Native American? I'm not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, these oh, several... Is it, is it no? It's not. So uh, these several tribes that express that, huh? Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's yeah, it's real. We care about people too. But these several tribes that express interest in the plan or whatever, uh, what, are, what are these tribes? Uh, so our Royster evidence and our Kronk evidence says that there's a host of tribes. It doesn't get into a specific list of them, 
but uh, it says that these tribes have overwhelmingly, they want to do wind energy, and they're attempting to now. But these uh, terror provisions allow the Secretary of the Interior to this, block this your, the your, uh, uh, Does your Rorschach in, uh, evidence indicate that the natives that he spoke to, like, you know what I'm saying, identify themselves as tribes? Rester is not a member of the tribe. Huh? Rester is a Native American. Oh, he's an American? Uh, does he, does I, he use the I think almost all of our, I think Mills is the only one. Not. Okay, so 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 when it so when it comes to uh, like meals and you know uh, like like meeting in interests and expressing interests or whatever, like natives have also asked for the land back. Why didn't like why didn't the ad answer that expression of interest for the for, for, for natives? Uh, well, because a lot we, of your because I, I know a lot of your your authors would, would say that. Uh, they, they might agree that I'm not so sure, but the the. You're right that the 1AC doesn't no, answer. I, I, the 1AC does not take a stance on whether or not the government should do that. We say that government control over native land is a bad idea. So, so, so then I have a better uh, question. I, I, so I, I think that the, the question of pragmatism. So, so we think that. Hold on, hold on, yeah, hold on, hold on. I don't want to hear the argument. I don't want to. You, you, you got to tell me to your arguments. But hold on, I got a question <laughs> though. You say you say put the put the plan through a federal reserve. That's the only way to do it. Like you said, put the oh, plan yeah, in the It should be like sort of framed for the trust. Yeah, uh, federal trust. Yeah. My question is historically, how many treaties have the government went on, like went back on, you know what I'm saying, for natives? Uh, well, they've, they've gone back on many. But many, the, so, the, why, so why should we trust, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> y'all, so, 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 you know what I'm saying, so, treat y'all. The, 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 the federal <laughs> trust doctrine is legally enforceable. In a, so, 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 okay, 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 okay. I re yeah. asked my question in. How so many got, treaties, uh, how, hold on, how many treaties have the government went on that they legally, you know what I'm saying, with the legislation, this is still many, right? This is important. So, 19th century and 20th century, throughout most of it. Hey, uh, you, got, you, you have a time to speak to explain the arguments. I know I don't ask the questions. Now, my next question is, you can you use it. white supremacy for good? Is it possible? Probably not. Probably not. Bet. Uh, another question then. Well, I... I Hold on, I said, you going to get your turn. You're going to get your turn now. My last question. My last question. Dude, so you, you know that's true. Sometimes, like, you got to use the empire. That's, that's, Take it down. You do. Yeah, but I don't think, I don't well, know, about oppressor can help <laughs> out a slave, uh, only I, slave master want to help out a slave. No, that's the one I, I said. Yeah, that, I think that's okay, right. No, like, not so you want to use the posture of your business? I'm I, with that. I'm not with, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't believe slave masters help slaves. I, I don't think I that works. Colonize, colonize, like, 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 like in within that position. But another question, though, so like, like, like in layman's terms, like simply, y'all say by taking restrictions off of wind and solar, that will like uh, impact colonialism, or oh, better yet, impact warming and climate change. Yes, that's what y'all saying. By taking off, by, by removing solar and wind restrictions, this takes away climate, like, it affects climate change. Yeah, so you have to get like CO2 emissions. Mm -hmm. All right. A interpretation. I'm gonna paint a picture to show the depth what it's like to listen. I'm gonna speak these words. I'm gonna tell the blind man what he missing. So my brothers doing time, man, up in prison and thought they had to resort to crime. Fuck the system. He raised the babies up in Haiti, but they ain't no hope. Ain't no fathers, don't take no scholarships, slang no dope. Politicians hunting about problems, but I ain't gonna vote. They keep talking about change, we float in the same old boat. So tell me how I'm supposed to feel when the president spoke. We ain't never had struggle, we ain't never been broke. He ain't even roll through the ghetto, we ain't never been close. And trusting this government, like trusting the devil and oh, rebel of quotes, I get up. Lifestyles of the young black, reckless generation, and niggas strapped and asking questions like, tell me why I ain't got shit. I let this nigga fill my liver with these top six. As I sip, I get up. <clears throat> be violation. I vote in first class, I laugh, even though it's not funny. I saw a white man wonder how the fuck I got money. Why he sitting coach, you hate to see me walk past. Young black pants that headphones blasting, nobody asking. How did he manage? All these cars against him, he used it to his advantage. The slang we be speaking probably sounded like Spanish, and I fuck their heads up when I try to show manners. I say, a study is continually ignored about blacks in debate by Shelton Cahill to demonstrate the manifestation of white supremacy as a consequence of black people in this continuous community. Hill 97 is the debate is the public, like the public speaking classroom, grounded in white Western ideology that frowns upon African American communication staff. This makes it hard for us to recruit the activity we see the activity as reflecting the opposite of what we believe in. It becomes difficult for us to stand this activity we want to suppress and give up our cultural police in order to be successful. It is an internal struggle that can emerge when we find a requires an approach that is conducted to the image of African Americans. I say current policy, uh, current policy making st uh, structures instructed by white uh, male power base ignored by disadvantages of minority voices. I said this is the second thing. I said uh, the methods of theoretical framework dominate the current policy analysis have been developed and implemented by those powers who are particularly in the world formation analysis are overwhelmingly white male and well educated. Thus, traditionally policy, uh, policy research has reflected the assumptions of worldview and values of this group. Traditional analysis, thereby rendering
through those particularly as genders, uh, those, those, those uh, part, uh, part, parts as genders, race, social class, sexuality, as unimportant. Since this uh, accepted the policy of the worldview was the policy as analysis assumed that is a dispassionate objective stands in the same that encouraged the broader community uh, community to perceive the research enterprise in this way. The traditional policy analysis is grounded in a narrow, falsely objective, overwhelmingly instrumental view of rationality that masculine bias, the, the bias that allows policy elites and technocrats to present an analysis of plans of neutral and objective way of, uh, of actually tied to prevailing relations of power. I say, we can return the stolen land to the Native Americans uh, and proclaim the USFG that has no right to exist and make a decision about those Native Americans. Now, <clears throat> C, plan, focus, bad. There is no planned version of your ass that we can, uh, your, of your ass that we can support. I said the implementation is, I put my heart and soul in this game. I'm feeling drained, unappreciated. I mean, unbelieve me, I see these norms they create. I mean, Jim Crow for the bait, and I said they claim they saved the world with these advantages in these cases, but the government, how they gonna save us when they ain't saved us for these races? Well, let me know the history when they refuse to face us. How are we gonna play policy? I got policy don't play us. I say Dr. Chanel Reese says, in no way USFG is co uh, colonialist. The base stimulus can only serve to distance debate between real world participation and political context that they're debated out. As Shanahan remarks, when we blatantly call on the United States federal government policy making, we're not immune to the uh, countless legacy that establishes on this, uh, on this continent. We cannot wish away the horrific atrocities perpetuated every day by simply to refusing to acknowledge those implications. As an objective stance of policymaker imperialist and, and, and um, imperialist persona, such a, such a stance is intriguingly linked to the normative histor uh, his, uh, historical contemporary practices of power that produce and maintain varying networks of oppression. And his discourse of practices and policy oriented debate are developed within through those systems of power and privilege. D is the voters, education. I say, let me ask y'all a question. When y'all look at me, what's y'all first impression? I mean, does the sign of me open the gate in which you believe you can probably solve some of the things in my life with some of the evidence that you're talking A lot of the intellects I face, they always say things is fake. So, what to take a bath, don't bring up something called next level debate. George, let me explain. We pick a problem, do we say something to blame you, create a solution because the end is just a game? I say, well, shame. I feel like we face the problems now. I Meaning, this room with folks who scared because it's doing much probably some intelligent folks and can solve that problem down in this room. Because speaking from my social location, I was never robbed in prison or probation. Meaning that Lord of Kingdom Portuguese gives me an argument. It's not less intelligent because they're using a lot of lies and using balls. And it's all been together to attack the real problem from the view on education to police participation to positive segregation. All these things were solved. But the key to the next level debate is there's no such thing as doing it too soon. So I don't just tip us off outside seat. I took us off within this room seat. I want those folks that never had a voice to have a choice. And those city officials who have the last decision to have a vision, I truly saw that from a permanent position. I feel like we're digging the same hole for the same shot. So let me take this conversation with y'all participation to the next level. See, maybe more funding to something that make these kids receive two food for thought because we know they're so hungry. There's something that make way so those political appeals can be heard, which essentially can say the world. I know that they can prepare pressure generations to the better with the past. They see, see, I know they said precedence, but we can fly past it because when inspiration gets better, when innovation gets clever, when integration gets together, see, we can make it through just let us a lot of folks. A lot of folks like to set up a lot of tickets here. Let's make trade by Martin. <coughs> Steve, to the next level. Imperialist agendas of role playing the oppressor will be exported to the larger society. Spanos <coughs> Miller says, I am very much aware of the uh, arrogant neocons who have saturated the government and the Bush administration. Learn that they are dis uh, disinterested argumentative skills in high school and college debate societies according to have some type of masters of disarm those causes of the oppressed. This kind of leadership will reproduce itself along with the invisible uh, oppression it perpetuates. As long as the training ground and those debate uh, proto tools is which emerges in intact, a revolution in debate must occur. One of my UVL debaters got killed. I'm going to do it through the camera on her anyway. Go to the UVL. Shout out to Steve. <coughs> I say, it really hurt me when they killed Eric. It was on his birthday. See, I was supposed to be Neverman when they killed TJ after he got his girl pregnant. I swear that hurt my soul. I could see it when she felt it because he said, stay with this debate shit. And keep from packing tools once you see so many deaths. What's relevant is school and when they kill Carlos down the street from where I live. His mom ain't speak my language. But I can understand her tears when that blood was on the ground. I can hear her sound now. When she walked up out that store, she seen her son. She fell down. I tried tears with my cousin out of here. You see, I still think Carlos was in the end. He was just a kid. See, Carlos was only three. He ran was one. Gabriel was five. Some of the kids out of my black, the fact that he used to be surprised though. Wait, let me switch it up so you can see how terror gets. Some of the kids out of my city mistake Oakland for Connecticut. I'm still praying to get better. Shit, you can see it in my eyes. When I find a nigga that killed my daddy, you know I'm a fraud. Hope you hear me. I'm gonna kill you, nigga. To let you know that I don't feel you, nigga. 
Nah, you ripped my family apart, you made my mama cry, so when I see you nigga, it's gonna be a homicide. Cause I was only a teen, you left me traumatized. You made me mad at the house, it was grinding time. So I'ma let this flame hit you, just let this pain hit you, and for all them cutting days, I'ma let this rain hit you. Look, I want you to recognize my life. Don't ridicule my fight. Give me respect when this truth is coming to hurt like bites, cause in the midst of some fucked up shit, my fingertips start to write. These thoughts still hunt me at night. And the first day of body, you see a hell of a sight. And for the record, I will break it. Even if I ain't read a book in my life, I'm still wondering why they took my life. I'm gonna take the bait. You see, I'm coming here what I'm saying. They always focus on the You see, it's blatant that a brother like me never had crap. And hood, I physically escaped, but I'm still mentally trapped. I said, what you gonna do about that? Because there ain't no such thing as a democracy. All I ever see was police crack kids in the doctor's seat. Remember coming home to my stepdad dead? Blood and brains with a blow. All this came from my stepdad head. Now I'm the only male off the jail. Junior gonna do. See, Junior was putting them off. Tell me what Junior gonna do. Adam, I had a faux faux facing me, boy. Granny, I said, I had a faux faux chasing me, boy. And Granny had a faux faux chasing me, boy. I said, she said, if they come through that door, cock back and blast and ain't asking for no more. See, we ain't having nothing way to move. Tell me what the fuck he's gonna do. Most cash just pick a crew. See, I was too hungry, so I couldn't go to school. My life was sick, so I always caught the flu. Like, fuck, I'm stuck. I feel like giving up. It's because I never had no bus. Since life was so low, everybody know boy smoke. Then they go to jail and came forth. And Granny said, the black man is slave. And if I don't behave, an overseer gonna put me in the grave. Folks have hope and get saved. I want opposite names to tell me don't be so brave. I knew why folks never want to give. It's complicated like trig. Top down that this is how you live. My mama said, don't go out at night. It's a war, it ain't right. But she never wanted me to have to fight. See, a baby got killed on the street. No aim with the heat. And the child fell to his mama's feet. I seen the brother with blood on his white teeth. He looked at me for help. Little D, no, I really couldn't help myself. So all that fake stuff could miss me. I know how they diss me. I just want these policies to assist me. Hey, the weekend boats definitely with rifle owners would be a good idea. How do you think we should try to do that? What you mean? Giving First of all, I don't use like the person who put them in a fucked up situation. <laughs> I think that would be a smart framework. Well, just like, That's like me getting robbed. robbed. I'm like, okay, we're gonna have a strategy. Get back your money. Let's go to the mother that robbed you. You know what I'm saying? Like, ah, oh, damn. No, no, I'm, I'm not talking about a strategy like inhabiting some other actor. I'm talking about like, like what should we do to do that? What you mean? Well, like, it's like, it's like, it's like you advocated like, your plan to do some fiction like, and stuff like that. Really you could have advocated to get a government back, get a land back. You two individuals? Or you? Well, what what is the negative present? How to do? Literally, well, literally, how you gotta present your plan. Gotta keep I come reason, in and switch up the rhetoric, switch up the text to saying that the United States federal government should get a land back to the United States. Well, it would have been simple to read it, right? It was simple for us to read and say it. You could have said it too. But you chose to say remove restrictions on solar and, land, and solar, I'm and solar and energy. You. You know I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like awareness is the key to fight these debate rules. Okay. And it's the key to having somebody inside these debate rules okay, to produce the education awareness. so we can get there. Now, the awareness to what we create, like when we blatantly call in the United States, like our, 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 our you know what I'm saying, our shenanigans that we talked about, it only creates a perpetuation of a normative system that's oppressive, that makes us forget about all the atrocities that happen, like what I'm talking about in my one MC, it makes us not account for all those things for they perpet so they can perpetuate themselves in the end. Okay, Meaning that uh, there's no solvency when that happens. So no, like whatever that means. You know, okay, it's, so, it's true. so one thing like we could do is like call on the United States to like give back the land. Is that like the same kind of call on the United States? Or is it like different? Nah, you know what I'm saying? This is how you point out. You can't go back to a oh. robber. If I take some sheet money, you can't come back to me like, I know you stole money, can I have it back, please? Sure, the logic don't even work, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I understand that. My question was more like, uh, when, when you guys or anyone else says, the United States federal government should give back the land, is that is that the same think, kind of call think about what on you the United States? The United States federal government should give back the land. The United States federal government should give reparation to ex -slave, like slave children. Like the fact that you read a, a piece of evidence that talks about federal approval taking years is a fact of where we couldn't trust anything coming from that institution to do anything productive for those individuals. Yeah, so to so answer your question, that call would not be policy based. It ain't gonna happen. Why would we trust based? that? It wouldn't be federal trust based either. You know what I'm saying? Just like I don't think reparations don't come back. Okay. I'm yeah. not gonna trust that. Yeah. Last call sex proved that we can't trust that. Okay. You pointed that for us. Yeah. I mean, I guess like our argument is that you know we're calling on the United States to not have control over wind and solar. And, and yeah, and I feel like the last cross examination proves how your 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 plan, your whole calling, already bankrupt. Once you identify that historically speaking, when even when we have legal legal treaties or legal things for the government to do for natives, they don't fall through and they take it back. You know what I'm saying? You already admitted that, so we can't trust your policy. Your your plan. So your uh, the Spanos thing said that debate would uh, train neocons. We can both agree that's bad, right? Right. Okay. Great. That works. Right. If political.
multiple identity or oppression or interpersonal relationships or whatever is the question of the way we control the impact capacity to express flow of subjectivity is subverted and the status quo for native communities' voices are not heard and interests are not heard that we should be able to weigh our ads that's an important thing if they win the methodology is important that doesn't somehow mean that what we said was important is no longer important it's their burden to prove that the app is bad not that our defenses of our app are good in every instance obviously the app doesn't happen but we as debaters and you as the judge have the ability to affirm something is good and it shapes what our politics are in real life it's the ability for us to express agency in this activity there is no fundamental distinction from the uh, affirmation of the affirmative advocacy and the affirmation of the negative uh, one and see this is why their plan for this bad argument don't make a lot of sense obviously the usfg doesn't exist and this as close colombia that's further re brickley evidence there's spanos evidence that it's a claim that we made in our one ac we don't convince ourselves that this is true we think the negative state action to begin to break down the state is necessary for resolving problems with the status quo it's the reason why the two advocacies are fundamentally not something uh, that beg the question of each other which means that you can fundamentally vote out for presumption they also haven't contested that the action of the plan is a good thing we can bring up some more nuances later but i'll draw out some uh, important aspects here about the trust doctrine trust doctrine is necessary for corporate exploitation we find a Viable middle ground. First of all, there is no uniqueness for their uh, natives are screwed over in the status quo argument. Yes, this is obviously true. A garment indicates the natives uh, experience rates of poverty at 12 times the national uh, 12 times the national average. Our uh, evidence indicates that they, that specifically renewables can lead to self-sufficiency apart from the state government of Wilkins, although my evidence indicate that a failure of the trust structure just less for corporate exploitation and that the uh, alternative of the uh, 1NC is like libertarians who say that the state is always bad and thus corporations should fill, could, could fill in to indicate that they are middle sense indicate that we create sovereign uh, in opposition to the state because the initial action of the plan is necessary to create uh, the self-sufficiency because natives are so dependent on things like welfare, etc. and the status quo uh, to move beyond that, which is why economic growth is something that is fundamentally uh, a necess necessary part of the plan. A brief uh, history lesson. U.S. native policy has changed pretty significantly. Yes, uh, in the 16th century, we screwed them over a ton uh, with uh, 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 16th century, so with uh, violating treaties, etc. And we didn't have a native policy except for kill them all until the 20th century. We became assimilate the natives, and that was the assimilation strategy. This has shifted to the trust Doctor, no, we don't think this is the best strategy in all time ever, but it is fundamentally better than the past strategies, and it's something that in our specific social moment advocating for is necessary to create social change because there's no way to move beyond that uh, without a gradual thing. And we, you cannot just give the land back because uh, then tries to be eight, uh, it would be 400 of the poorest countries in the world, and it would be an idiotic move. Also, uh, Native groups agree with us that the Northern Alliance on the Trust Doctrine is Devil Wilkins and Loyaya, too, as Congress to his best life, to provide Congress to people as well as trying to actually play the results of decisions in its own clear. And Congress has tested the trust of Palestinian American Indians trying to suffer massive and double cuts of federal dollars trying to will not be convinced that the trust relationship is only viable. And we all uh, argue that the method is bad in cross sex when we say uh, what they do to remedy native problems and uh, as their method outside the debate, they say that awareness is the method by which we solve these things. I think uh, that that is devastating, first of all, because the app clearly creates awareness of these issues. These are the same one acing impacts that we're uh, talking about, which is that whatever alternative method they posit, we capture. They also. Uh, this is also a bad method. Awareness is not something that can be separated from the uh, specific political strategies. For example, not only should we should get the land back, but how we would go about getting the land back. They become the revolutionary here. Lewis Nelson wants to know, and instead of formulating strategy turn theory into practice, they are the armchair philosopher Newton. Some people because of the that phenomenon without acting introduced this to an armchair philosopher students who were too content to sit around the other side acting. It was necessary to develop a theory to stop the one time we wanted a system which is good anywhere. With, with, yeah, it wouldn't relate to concrete analysis. Concrete conditions that actions would be relevant because the revolution called this. So I said, everyone who are not really conscious of this, the revolution called to invite from the people instead of uh, serving as a beggar becomes a hero. Their sections of action do not lead people to a higher level of consciousness in order they produce changes in the exploitation of the people. Revolution is a process, not a conclusion. A true revolution is not only taking courageous actions will advance people in a manner they will transform their situation and contextualize their analysis. Pressure on material change is essential for political change to make more effective advocates. Ignoring politics only sees the political of the right, which is uniquely bad uh, for people who are screwed on the status quo of them. Addiction, 2K, policies, the codification, powerless to change the rules, means change of the rules of organization. They change the rules, how can we organize separate from policy carriers and choose power without protesting? The rules and answer is double the fuel. Of color, racism, nominates every aspect of policy making made us too busy to tune to the Walker Policy Drama Washington to find a washed up on our doorstep. Policy doesn't get more relevant than this. We have to do more than a lot of much. We have to start the fight with initiatives of our own. We have to sort of identity. We've ever been public. We have access to elected officials and officials have reliance. So we can choose for the election. The work of framing what we stand for, the association, the shaping of the advanced by gains, the policy retaining the advance, the next level of advance can become all the work requires interaction with the students as well, service with the bureaucracy, the technical language, and resist place situations are worth the many. These words that having writing as well, making policy work is a nickel of our work that's required. Rich we need to develop the capacity to translate information to affect the public conversation beyond fighting politics. Bring the solution to that act, bring us closer to the vision of how things should be. And 
even if the app doesn't happen, the app is still, the, the, the case index still doesn't match the all this, uh, the, 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 their strategy of awareness is really shitty for natives, the next central anthem can't argue that reformists is so bad because if they're there, they the app can uh, help people in poverty, uh, which is uh, horrible that people are dying daily, and the negative interpretation of political change dreadful, replicates the Eurocentric notion of ethics as a way of thinking or conceptual or rhetorical ethics versus ethics, ethics and action or existential ethics. They uh, are a luxurious position, which means that Western appeals can be professionally justified. Ani, 94, they went to that thing so much rational, the purest abstract words versus an action, the pursuit of self exercise, self deception, primary cultures, or captures by an existential ethic that is based on action behavior and intended. They won't solve this. It tends to make philosophers irrelevant and then ensure jurors the worst decision making capacity. They are critical that they say on the appeals behavior of the Europeans represent a theme in European development theories, excuse me, making Europe responsible for everything and the good far away from the rather than researching the history of the West's civilization with the racism of the late 19th century. It's best by to recall the highest ideals of the classical tradition. They've inspired with the vision of the Indian as well as now being perfect justice with sufficient justice already established with social order. The European tradition which is shattered and a new history place the old end. Uh, advocate for the renewal of energy balance necessary to create physiological fissures that can begin to rectify historical traumas of energy exploitation, Powell, and currently not higher education discourse and viral justice producing public factors who operate across the boundaries of grassroots and governmental. The results of fractures of political, political actors, which says what should be is worth out the environmental actors. Social movements are contributing to the future of extractive industries on indigenous territories. Knowledge they bring forth this integral the nationwide debates in the future of energy and society with the to the crucial shape of the discourse knowledge and future of not only how technologies are implemented, but the conceptual framework of development is transformed. Uranium made evident that they can measure the relative rebalance, rectifying structural trauma with renewable technology principles serve as a pragmatic liberal strategy, but meaning making is crucial to plug the subsidy efficacy and agency can be measured only in terms of political opportunities or directly cost effective profits as well as level of knowledge production and recertification policy support for ethical teaching, engage modern and institution field shifting to electrical and identification identification relations between enduring struggles and this sort of services are mediated through debate over proposed development questions and policy for what possibilities for native peoples are prefigured by Western best laws remains a reference for decision making that are dominated by only interest based on men on research specialization are uh, affirmative creates fractures in that kind of, in that kind of Western epistemology to uh, move towards different ways of viewing impact calculus. Robin, two systems are decentralized and self-reliant this enabling just peacefully for thousands of years in sustainability though colonial colonial practice native peoples have been denied access to economic for sustainable knowledge have been excluded from decision making concerning environmental colonialism and corporate attrition and indigenous management of the Eva Recula to represent duration experience and experiments and colonial elements continues today with corporations and development agencies this terms are considered unknown decentral duration colonizations that prior to rights are ignored by your scout field far beyond that which currently exists our only activity in support the system which continues to exploit us they try to recognize the need we must produce deals to bring about support tribes ship from the human lands to communal ways within the human properties deal same within capitalist the attitudes many there several rights within the system can affect the essential tactic in defending tribal races we need to look past the sense of the victim of ethos item which is named fuels and backward just by repression of traditional ways through violence and the economic business power of price context or corporate wage war regression for their natural resource identity is social construction in relation to power play an important role in the sense that deviance is located in some control material existence for their colonial and logic parties of those who are less civilized than they make properly uh, they probably exploit the land as colonies to make decisions on land those who control the land control the resources within it no matter what resource social control and power fundamentally underway the assertion of native land rights takes place in the context of the environmental movement one to accept other ways of knowing to accept native leadership those in power create an environmentally harmful atmosphere which maintains hierarchical power our environment is out of balance environment which carries requires alternative movements to protect those from the movement can offset situations through rejection of injustice they must fight put forward in conditions of alternative circular ways of knowing viewed a business by usually it's the family lessons where you find the ways corporations and just do business policy is built on epistemological arguments grounded in the subjective choice policy should be grounded in reciprocal power and holistic way of viewing the environment. The problem with the process of this approach is that it will transcend political interests to obtain knowledge policy knowledge to address the interests of the existing regime by structure decision making must be acknowledged. The respective challenges and knowledge analysts place themselves within environmental disparities will move to uncover ideological assertions that are reduced to unequal protection. The analysts from references culturally bound a new frame of reference policy making grounded in the to people allow for a respect for reciprocal relations, native philosophies, prints of the earth as finally comes to cards to be surprised by the most important aspects. Sustainability includes ecological and democracy and community. We begin to see the future from the next generations come by placing value on clean air, safe society. Such awareness can have a proud effect on our global society. List knowledge concerning uh, the environment is such a And um, uh, I think their impact tends to rely a little bit on a, on a, on a conception of slavery that that of social death will preempt that here. Brown nine. Uh, people who have been for, uh, pronounced socially that have made a social world out of death itself, but the justice place can inspire practice social reconnection scholars to make too little events like the funeral and close metaphorical social death is based in the condition and slavery is often dating constant social death is a distillation of theoretical conception that is mental society the lived experience of the insights which is the least common matter is nation list abstraction that provides a need logic but also does little to eliminate the social and political experience of enslavement. I, I made an argument that awareness is what our app does. So, so we have well, we do strategy of the oppressor. So, so, we don't, so, we, we don't so like, we do what we do. Are we compatible with you? What are you saying? We do both I, of them I think they're different. I don't think we do what you do, but I do think you're compatible with us. Bet. Oh. And one last question. Does self-determination start with self? No, not, not, not the way. Yeah, in the 14th, in the, in the 15th century, but the 
colonize the point of America? Yes. Today, no, because the way that cycles of colonialism have placed indigenous peoples in sort of horrific poverty means that if the U.S. It's clear enough, does nothing, it's to clear it up. I want to determine for myself. I need, I need to do some policy. Sorry. I want to determine for myself. I would need policy. Uh, so I want to determine for myself. You need, okay, the plan plan you need a change. Indigenous rights would need a change in federal policy. Okay, so. Alright, I'm reduction. The awareness, what's kind of a problem? Not a problem, really? Alright. You can, you can call what you want. I made right. a right. I, I, I Here's the question. I got you. I don't want you to get right. Let me, let me tell you this. I, okay, I, I relate a lot to, you know what I'm saying, Native Americans, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as, like, giving back to land, you know what I'm saying, reparations. Kind of, we were kind of oppressed. I got a lot of Native American homeboys. I kind of gave you a test, right? So I was wondering if anything I said that was a perpetuation of anything that was the oppressed voice, would you engage that? Like you would engage my Native American homeboy. Now I just want to know, if, is there any point of any of the arguments that you made in that whole two ways to engage any of anything I did, any content, any verse, any bar that was a perpetuation of blackness? When I was talking about you the other day when I got killed, was any part that you said line? Was any argument? Did yeah. you breathe on the one? I think all of our reasons as to why the so all of them is good. Our, our job is to prove that the one AC is good. Okay, and with it, okay, and within that, and one AC, you got to reason why the one AC was bad. Yo, let, let, me, let me explain to you this. My right. job is, I don't, I I don't think the one AC was bad. The one AC was pretty compelling, but I don't think it proved okay, that the one AC was pretty compelling. My point is, for the majority, for six minutes of that nine minutes, here's what I was talking about. Let me, let me. Six minutes of that nine minutes, I was rapping. I'm trying to understand what of that content did you answer anything that was in the rap? Because that was my, my voice of the oppressed. You said you're trying to help some oppressed people. I'm giving you the oppressed people in front of your face. I'm trying to understand, what did you do for that? Because that's your test. I'm trying to see, how can I trust you? See, I, I, I think that the, I, did you want me to rap? Can you rap? I'm <laughs> trying to understand, <laughs> <laughs> you have said content, oh. Yeah, I, I understand I mean, I, you, you should rap, I, I mean. And I thought that it made certain, have to answer certain arguments like about social death, about the state, etc., which is reasons why we can't solve for oppression. We think I mean, that our method is an okay way to solve oppression. oppression. I made a lot of arguments to YC ones. I got you. I'm asking, did I make arguments that couldn't solve oppression in my rap? Is that what I'm saying? Uh, I interpreted it that way. I think there's always an interpretation. Give me a line to where you can interpret If you think I dropped an argument. I, I take credit. I just want to know. Any, just, just give me a line. I, just like I can't just give you a line from a piece of evidence. I can give you a line from, from what you just said, that whole speech. You just give me a line. I'm taking credit. I just want to know. I need to know this. Can you do a line? Uh... Rest in peace, Malcolm X. Brothers and sisters, I'm here to tell you that I charge the white man. Mm. I charge the white man for being the greatest murder on earth. There is no place in this world that man can go and say he's created peace and harmony. Everywhere he's going, he creates violence and havoc. So I charge him. I charge the man who was dropping bombs on Nagasaki and Hiroshima. I charge the man with the genocide of Native Indians. I charge the man for being the greatest enslaver on this earth. I charge the man with the greatest criminal in, in, in history and in present. He can't deny the charges. You can't deny the charges. The heavily, the, the heavily African-American populated prison systems and the polio radiation in Nagasaki and Hiroshima that still burns in the air are living proof of these charges. I'm proof. I'm proof. You're a proof. You are not an American. You, have a, uh, you are a victim of America. You didn't have a choice to come in over here. He didn't say, black man, black woman, come over here and build America. He said, the nigga now in the bottom of the boat, I'm taking, that up, I'm taking you over there and build America. Being born here doesn't make you an American. I'm not an American. You're not an American. You, we are, we, we are billions of people who are victims of the man. You and I, we ain't never seen no democracy. We ain't seen no democracy in the cotton fields of the South. There was no democracy down there. We ain't seen democracy in the jungle fields of the Vietnam or desert of Iraq or Afghanistan. There was no democracy there. The trail of tears, the tiny exclusion. That, that wasn't it. That wasn't democracy. I don't see any American dream. I've only experienced American nightmare. The man has caused destruction, violence, nationwide, internationally, historically, and now. And they perpetuate it. Also, we all agree that racism is something bad. This is what they said. Uh, natives, we shouldn't get the natives their, their land back because it would make the U.S. a poor country. And that's not the most racist thing I ever heard in my life. So the, the natives getting their land back, it makes America one of the most poorest countries in the world. That's racist. But the term, uh, 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 a link to it, uh, the top of the uh, 1AC, where they, uh, the worst of evidence, and it was coming up right from referring to the uh, natives being tribes, the use of the term tribe is not an innocent act, but it has played a role, a key role, in a tool of the rhetoric of extermination against the indigenous people of the world. Historically, the Spanish Inquisition proves the power of rhetoric in creating daily dominations hierarchies of Churchill in 94. 
During the 19th, 6, then the 19th uh, sixth century, the Spanish could lead the way to a new and highly enlightened theory to the international legality based directly on the Spain's hypothetical relationship to the indigenous people. It was an encountering in a new world. New Spain drew the obvious conclusions from, this, uh, from, the, from their society's general designation of the natives as tribes customarily referring to Indians as beasts. And, and, uh, 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 natives as tribes, customary referring them as, uh, as beasts, treating them as, uh, and treating them as such. In the Caribbean, this led to the outset of the enriching in, in horrors documented by the Las Casas and the reduction of the regional indigenous population from, uh, for, from, a many, from as many as 14 million to extinction in a barely generation. Well, on, on the mainland, attrition may have reached only into the 19th percentile. The means of attitudes by which this was accomplished are, uh, are supremely instructive. To many of the conquerors, the, Indian were, uh, the Indians were merely another savage animal, and so do dogs were trained to pursue and rip apart the animal and the human quarry uh, the, yeah, the with the same zest uh, as they felt from the, uh, from the, from the hunting wild of the beast. So it's not like the, uh, the, uh, the natives kind of went through the same thing that the slaves went through. We had the dogs turned on them and shit like that. But the whole point of this thing is they used and Frederick the word tribal or whatever, it's not a neutral act, and it's linked, you know what I'm saying, to being racist. It's also linked to what Shanae Reeves talked about as uh, the, uh, the, the norms of hegemonic systems of, of, of power and privilege. A rejection of the term tribe is key to indigenous people's resistance against, uh, against oppression to church year 94. Uh, uh, one who perceived by others does does mu does ma does much to determine the nature of the respect or lack of it. They are likely to accord you by the same measure. How one seeks oneself is a crucial element by, by predicating by which one ultimately defines a type of extent of respect and, and, and attendant rights one asserts on one's due. If one is generally viewed by others as being shiftless, and he or she will be will be treated quite differently than the individual who than, than the individual who's considered to be motivated. To the extent that one adopts or, or, or accepts this external this externally imposed designation. Our shiftless as the cumulus depiction of, uh, of one separate is, 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 uh, will be validated. And we can return stolen land and proclaim USFG has, not to, uh, has no right to exist or make these uh, type, uh, type of decisions. And then blackness, and then, and then uh, when it comes to their perm or whatever, how they do both of the things, first off, uh, doing our counter plan would take out the, all the office, all the offense and all the sophistry from their plan or whatever, because by giving the United States federal government, I mean, by giving uh, the land back to natives or whatever, that would take out all the jurisdiction and legitimacy for the government to say they should or should not do something. And on top of that, blackness cannot become one of Tip Society's junior partners. This is Woodison in 2007. There is something organic about black positionality that, that, that makes it essential to the destruction of Tip Society. Blackness cannot become one of Tip Society's junior, being mean junior partners. Black citizenship and black civil obligation are oxymorons. Coalitions and social movements, even radical social movements, such as the prison abolition movement, bound up in the solicitation of hegemony, so, so the fortified extends into the interarchy life of civil, uh, of civil society, ultimately accommodate only the sexual demands of finite antagonism of civil society junior partners, and working for, but, for, but foreclosure on the insatiable demands and endless antagonisms of the, of the prison slave and the prison slave in waiting. Whereas such coalitions and social movements cannot be called outright uh, handmaidens of white supremacy. The rhetorical structures and political desire and handwriting by a supplement of anti blackness. I asked him in the cross examination, can you use white supremacy for good? He said, no. The United States federal government is an intrinsically white supremacist entity, white supremacist force. It is predicated off of the degradation of black bodies and the, uh, the, 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 the colonial, the, the, Shit, the killing of black bodies, the killing of black bodies, and the killing of Indian bodies. Uh, you know they got me trapped in this prison of seclusion, mm. happiness, living on the streets of delusion. Even a smooth criminal one day must get caught, shut up, and shot down with the bullet that we bought. Now they let me to kick and think about what you should do to me, cause they never talk peace in the black community. All we know is violence. Do the job in silence. Walk the city street like a rat pack of tyrants. Too many brothers daily headed for the big pen. Niggas going off first off, and then when they went in, over the years I done done a lot of growing up, get drunk, throwing up, cuffed up. Then I said I had enough. There must be another outbreak out for money and fame. I changed my name, played a different game. Tired of being trapped up in this vicious psycho. One more cop harass me? I just might go psycho. And when I hit him, I hit him with the bum rush. Only a little tip where I can see a skull crush. And if you're smart, you really let me go see. But keep a couple of fingers together and catch the Uzi. Cross X is mixed. They, uh, that they plan don't guarantee anything they claim. And they strategically chose to acknowledge. And, 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 and Cross X also, of course, how they strategically chose to acknowledge this interest uh, uh, this interest of, uh, 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 of what their plan is, but not giving the land back to the, to, to the latest. This, this exemplifies what Shanae Reed is talking about when he says the executive sense of the policymaker, this is, this is what is really going on. So they strategically just somehow ignore the, I feel like ever since, you know what I'm saying, white folks came and took the land from Indians or, or, or that is, they've been asking for the land to come back. But that interest, that, that, that wasn't answered, but it was answered about solar, and, solar, solar energy.
That's crazy. And that plant text, which is what you're about for, it does not, it, it, uh, it, also, uh, leads, uh, it also leads to the risk of what he talked about, corporate feeling. Uh, there's, there's, there's nothing he read within what he said that would not guarantee that for the solar industry, plants and, or the, or the uh, or, yeah, solar industry plants to come in and fill in and take over the Indian's lands. And then every example that he has about saying that policy is the only way and all that or whatever, this is what Shaw is talking about when he says that policy, uh, 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 that policy at least like, have a falsely narrow, a falsely objective and narrow way of seeing a, a, a rationality that mass leading biases. And how policy leads to technocrats present analysis and plans that's neutral and objective when they are actually tied to prevailing relations of power, like white supremacy and colonialism. When they claim they can get some type of uh, 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 change, the climate change, uh, I'm doing their plan takes, they should lose. The plan provides a view from there where that assumes you, can, you, you can't connect with the oppressed with the little policy. When they call for the United States federal government, they are not immune from the colonist legacy. There are two impacts to this action. First, it perpetuates the ongoing genocide against indigenous people, and second, it more legitimizes the same government that labeled blacks. Leave this a person in the same United States federal government that continues to further disenfranchise blacks. Not only do they call on the government, they actually think they can fix it by doing the plan text. Policymaking, pretending to be USFG, like I said, it really distances the better from what problem they want to talk about. This is why you can vote next, support the app without the plan. More reasons why they lose for calling on the government, because like Ricky says, the app is linked to the, to the normative and historical contemporary practices of power and produces and maintains various networks of oppression. And on top of it, the whole logic of their plan is just bankrupt and screwed because they can't guarantee. First of all, they already proved, price X proved, we can't trust their, their bankrupt plan and saying the government should do something. And on top of that, how does self determination start with policy? It's called self-determination, not policy determination. <laughs> not government determination, it's called self-determination. So you get up and ask me the question about self-determination, I'll be like, fuck, they gotta start with self. They don't start with the government. That is literally how we create the superiority complex. It really like legitimizes colonized, a colonizer, or oppressed, and oppressed. I have to go to the person that's kicking my ass to ask not to. It's crazy, focus. Right. Uh, we've presented a method for challenging native oppression. Uh, potential first step for returning some land. You say that can't work because, well, I'm just gonna use the tools of white supremacy state, et cetera, right? Right. Now, well, How do you propose we <laughs> end native exploitation and give the land back? By not using white supremacy for good. Okay. I asked you in the first cross text, can we use white supremacy for good? Okay. You said probably not. So, I have an argument that I'm beating you I get on, it. I'm gonna beat you on that the United States federal government right, is white supremacy. Winning one argument doesn't win around. Huh? So, I that think takes out your whole okay. so, so, so this was not my question. I, that I takes said, out your whole that, I, So you've answered the why is our strategy bad. Yeah. My question is what is your strategy? A quick, my, my strategy is the next level. First off, is engaging the language of the oppressed. Whatever I was rapping, I was like, talking about. Like, 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 I, like I said, you strategically chose what interest to acknowledge. Our strategy is really, you know what I'm saying, listening to the language of the oppressed. Got now it. I know a whole bunch of that. We're from Oklahoma, OU. You know what I'm saying? That's the perfect example to show how. Literally named after. Listen, listen, listen. Really Trail of Tears, right. right? Gave Oklahoma to natives, right? And then some legislation, some policy right, came through. Right. You're not really getting what I want to get at. I, I'm going to give an example of my thing, right? So the state obviously doesn't just go away. And white supremacists don't stop being white supremacists. Like, man in Mississippi or Oklahoma with his gun who wants to, you know, kill some black people and stop white people. The but cops I, don't stop doing what they're doing. Yeah, but, but how you asking me that question? I'm gonna, let me finish. Well, I'm, I'm, gonna, gonna, right, I'm gonna answer it too. So like, example, Black Panthers, Houston was like, the way we're gonna fix this perfect example is, too. not perfect example, but <laughs> way we're gonna do this, letter of the law, the Second Amendment, self-education, <laughs> like, et cetera. What, like that, do you propose we do to end the state? I just find it funny that you can like, <laughs> act out, you can say, like, you can play, <laughs> say, the plan it. won't pass, the plan won't pass, but you can't pretend to give the land back to the, to the natives. All right, so I can pretend to pass the, the plan, the my but I can't pretend to get here's, the land back. Here's the my question. Why can't debate be a place that we can discuss the best strategy for giving that land? We are discussing. We are discussing. I'm discussing how your plan is whack, it's stupid. I agree. You presented the logic of this paper. Why our plan is bad? Why can't we compare strategies? We compare strategies. You ask what, what my is, strategy what was, is your strategy, strategy better than yours. My strategy is really understanding the language of the oppressed, really engaging okay. and really listening to okay. them, really exemplify how you listen to them. Understanding the language of the oppressed. Yeah. Can we, all right. But not just strategically how you want to do it, though. Like, <laughs> listen to them. I heard some folks that said that they was helping. 
In the end, it seemed like they saw this seemed selfish. Man, this in Jamaica said so the privilege will never listen because the privilege ain't getting hit, so the privilege ain't never flinching. Meaning, if you're a part of this struggle, then we your scars at? Is you just gonna talk that talk? See, is you a fraud cat? See, I'm gonna tell you the truth. And I know sometimes I hurt, but y'all acting like left, and I swear that the left is worse. See, like if I had to fight somebody, I wanna know who too. Shout to the right at him, you know, shout choose you. But if somebody was acting like them was my friend, said they was riding for me and the me in man, I'm like, damn, see, that's that shit that the left too. So uh somebody need to point this out, I'm the best too. Once I Prove this is over, ain't no friendly toast, but I act you know, friendly, like, yes, we trying to find. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do this strictly for the survivors. You know, them 800 number dodges that be chasing after cream while our fathers trying to dodge us. They say, Boy, when I tell you about picking up that phone with that number unknown, tell them people I ain't home. See, we was fully black, tell the white lies. Some other shit I said I was probably mad at white guys, but it wasn't knowing if they had spent the week in my hood, they'd probably need a band at this life side. Fuck. Look, I'm gonna talk about that later. We was raised by them essays, I ain't talking about no paper. They said, look out for them folks ain't looking like your neighbor, cause them pigs let a kill, they just looking for a hater. See, my Mexican family was a part of my clarity. My Native Americans homie said, you stay still, so you cherish things. See, we still in land, and still in culture. So much damn stillin', we call them stillin' vultures. So now I'm Saudi Arabia, sticking to her traditions. She told me Palestine finally getting their recognition. She told me all these kids is dying over the vision. And she said the U.S. government playing a role in this. See, every morning I wake up, I swear I'd be surprised, but if I'm gonna speak about this world, I'm gonna speak it through my eyes. I want y'all to know the next level is inevitable, especially when you got some brain power that's incredible. I mean, listen to this shit. It's literal and a metaphor to underline my rhymes and say I'm not a damn competitor. See, that's problematic when you talk about this magic. I ain't gonna go to the next level, but what they gonna do when they grasp it? Since it's so drastic, we can't just slow past it. Me and you have the problem, we're all gonna try to match it. See, from Lynn to Deborah to David on the Perry, all these folks at the next level, the thing was that was ready. I'm gonna identify this real quick. They have failed the test, Judge. I'm gonna put it again. He has failed the test. When I got him in the crosshairs and I said, I was, I put myself in a position to think about when I spit. I said, my Native American homie said it's still so you cherish things. I'm learning from these people once they have identified the oppressed people. I gave a test inside of doing my 2AC, the majority of it being a crutch of oppressed voices. When I talk about my UDI, the better that dies. When I'm talking about uh, 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 all these oppressed things, when I'm talking about the recognize my life versus why I'm identifying, you know what I'm saying, blood and burns of the flow and all this came from my stepdad head. These still the real life situations that are here, not hypothetical to when we go outside and stuff. That's the point they understand is the better happening right here. Now, I tried to understand, like, maybe he would engage with those things. He never said a word about the oppressed things that's happening in this debate. How would we ever trust those same politics to help anything outside this debate? When he said, we care about oppressed people, how do you care about oppressed people that you don't care about the oppressed people right in front of your face? This is an identification of how white supremacy or the, uh, the, the governmental perpetuation of oppression works. We're not identifying something that is faulty as a part of their plan. We're identifying the fundamental thing that they perpetuate their, their arguments off of. The idea that they would be able to quote unquote solve for somebody when, uh, to give back the land when the, the land has not been given back all this time by the, the arguments they presented when they presented for, uh, critically non-unique. These are the same things that perpetuate oppression instead of actually trying to do their socially. I'm going to go through a little bit of the speech. We said we know the names of being hurt. I'm going to Yourself. Why do you identify? Why is why was it never a time to where the uh, uh, the affirmative had to identify their social location? Why do we have to ask this out across it to say, are you a Native American? See, and my point when I come into this place, I always make it a point to identify my social location because that says my awareness of how I view the world through those things. I identify the interactions that I have with those Native Americans and see how those things work. We identify those things because we don't have the privilege of not to. They have lived inside that privilege, and it also links them to not knowing what is the right solvency for those oppressed people. If they do, they have lived more into perpetuating the capitalism system to say, I. I know better than an oppressed person how to solve for your problems. I'm gonna go a little bit down and I'm gonna talk about that. I say, fundamentally, when he said our strategy is better than the last strategy, no. You think that because you're not attached to the oppression. See, a oppressed person that's in a situation would know whether I should go this way because I, uh, your mother was a shooting on that street or should I go this way? You know what I'm saying? But you have never been in that situation or never been uh, in, a, in a critical situation or never identified that within this debate. It shows you how they do not have their best strategy. The same way they didn't answer what I said, would you go back to the robber and get your stuff that when you when you when you drive by that same oppressor, same way we ask the question, is the is the white supremacy or a capitalistic system or an oppressive system that will be the same system that helps you out. The praxis conversation they have, the net is doing a better conversation of how we talk about praxis. He says, even if the app doesn't happen, what he does not does is the app did happen. He already perpetuated uh, that same oppression as the state has perpetuated. He has done those things within this realm. The idea that I haven't did anything right here is the way I take myself out of this debate and don't see how I am intrinsically linked to that oppression. See, when I talk about my UDL, I talk about 
talking about Carlos, but I talk about his mother seeing his uh, seeing the, the dead baby on the floor, but I talk about all these kids down on my street. This is nothing that came up inside those speeches because the oppressed voices, those oppressed things that happen within this space, is not important. It shows you how suddenly it's not uh, uh it's not something that is deemed or can be solved by the affirmative. Now, if that is the important issue, then we because it was fair because it was unfair because we, before we walked in, we walked in uh, due to a historical exclusion. Our method function is increased the black thought, leaving the playing field, uh, leaving the playing field, voting nay is a precondition of fairness. Hill 97 says the debate is just like the classroom, grounded in white western ideology. I found the one black athletics and communication styles, pushing blacks further down the hill to disadvantage. Code switching exemplifies fairness in debate that plays out. Understand, the white vernacular never has a code switch to the black vernacular, but it is our job to code switch to everything he has said. The fact that he didn't, he admits and concedes to the fact that he didn't say one word about the majority of my speech, mean you automatically lose. On top of that, you have perpetuated that same oppression of exclusion, not listening to what, what is really going on, that, uh, that he critiques the state of. The state of. Um, impact of education, making the app as a precondition. Our next level argument is identifying how you engage with the next level you gave us, the voices of the oppressed. He has not even engaged with the voices of the oppressed because I said that argument inside a black vernacular. This is the identification. Hopefully now you'll say something because I'm saying it in a democratic way. We said decision making, we talk about democracy. Go back to my spirit, what I said, ain't no democracy. Because all I ever see was police, crackheads, and democracy. That is the identification of our reality that they don't account for being why they lose. Exclusive of each other. We're not trying to steal their methods or do what they do. We're just saying that these are not things that have to be viewed in isolation. You should view, you should vote affirmative because the scholarship presented by, by us is good. Our method of change is one of discussion. There are positive methodological reasons for our presence in this debate. We're our group. It's a conversation between two debate teams that can help us and each other in the community come to better ideas and better conceptions of what it means to live in the world. This is a conversation we'd like to talk to people about. We all learn about it and decide that it's a good or a bad idea. The structure of debate is such that only one team is required to win, and this should, that should be the one that had the better idea debate. In be a game and more than one as well. We've advocated this for a long time and affirming it sends a signal that it's a good idea. The 1AC is a starting point. It's not static. It's a starting point for discussion. The 1AC is an example of a way to charge the white man, first of all, with respect to the plan because we demand that the government get its way out of approval of wind and solar projects. We say that Native Americans should be able to choose for themselves and not have to reference the government. The second way we do this is through the trust structure. We create a legally enforceable mechanism for Native folks to challenge the government, which takes a legal action. Our Parker evidence says this would lead to action against the settler states that, that the Native tribes would win, which means that we are a way of charging the white men. And the same example that the truancy was there was indeed no democracy in the jungle, nor was there in Native communities when the United States in intervened internationally. But we are a way of getting rid of that influence. We did not say that we shouldn't give back the land because the United States would become poor. We said that we shouldn't give the land back because it would be equivalent to letting people go from a prison with absolutely nothing, no connections, no people to rely on or anything like that. We need to provisionally engage in two structures to allow Natives to come to the conclusions that they want to come to using the word tribe is okay. Critically, and I understand when the government sees that the tribal lacking civilization can be equally possible as being close to make sure that tribal culture can legitimately be seen as reflecting part of our own. The models, yes, and even later, we're seeing the possibility of reducing attributes of tribal life. Tribal people are spiritually linked with their nature and their environment. The indigenous people's movement to turn this characterization of local use, variety, strength, and numbers to population by integrating them into a larger community. Tribal language is good in the context of Native Americans because it implies sovereignty. McDulty and a Western oriented region may think of the word tribe from racial anger. The issue is not black and white. The national words is completely wrong time because there are always occasions in which the words is exactly perfect. The word tribal a variation appeared 370 times in the newspaper last year. You native records is a word tribe speaking the nation and sovereignty. Focus on terminology is horrible in the context of Native Americans. Alfred 99, what does it mean to be called an Aboriginal people there? Has been a torturous politically correct, non offensive term that to the attempts to stage the gilded glimpses of effects only cover for the days continue to be said indigenous people. What do you to do? Do be called a first nation when the authority the government is no more than that of a bank castle under the Indian Act. The only found in the world is a place for white people who do not have to face racism built into the structure of their supposedly enlightened country. Now, the, uh, we have a similar starting point to the plan. We agree that we should give back the land because we are an example of a policy that challenges the United States authority to intervene in this land in the first place. We do not uphold the legal system. We said that it should get out. We do not make anti-blackness a junior partner. We just say that this is the thing and our thing is the thing and one doesn't deny the other. So one, it's not a region that the plan is a, the plan or the 1AC or the affirmative in general 
is bad idea. We agree that we cannot use the government for good, which is why we demand that they completely get out. We lead to a different conception of how wind and solar work. Our Powell evidence and our Robin evidence says we lead to epistemological fissures that lead to localism, which is not the same thing. We're not trying to take control of the negative arguments. We're just pointing out that they do not impeach the validity of ours. Our permutation argument doesn't boil down to us plus them. The interaction and interplay between the arguments that we have made and the ones that they have made it enhances both of them, providing new, uh, new perspectives. Our understanding of pragmatism doesn't link to most of their offense. We use post-structural ideas to complexity in accepting action. We recognize how oppression is manifest, but we keep some faith in the political tools that have been developed by past epistemological horizons while not fully embracing them with a condition. The trust doctrine is a good example of this. We certainly don't maintain that colonial relation, but we recognize the utility of the trust doctrine for pursuing a different political and ethical relationship between the state and we infuse epistemological truth within political structures. So even if hegemonic forms of knowledge still exist after the affirmative is actualized, and we're not believing mechanism by which they can happen. Now, yes, policy is tied to system powers. We're not a view from that where we just say that this is one good thing that we should have, and we should interrogate the structures behind this, but it is not a reason that is bad in the first place. We call on the government to get out, which is the exact same as a rhetorical call that they endorse for the government to give the land back. There is not a difference in terms of calling on the state between saying that the government should not have the land and the government should not be in the land, which is what the one AC is. What? Yeah, I have two minutes. Uh, Self-determination is very difficult when the oppressor is kicking your ass all the time, which is exactly what is the case in native lands. We cannot move to the, they cannot move to the next level because it's just as much of a real-life oppression because they are extremely poor in the sesco and do not have a method of actualizing self-determination. The cross of the 2 NC said we need to understand the language of the press. The 1EC is an example of integrating that scholarship is a bad idea. The fact that they do not have a political orientation is a very bad. R&D evidence articulates an existential ethics argument to the impact framework for the round. People are dying and they do nothing about it, which is a position of privilege as a uniquely European reframing the debate in terms of existential ethics that sees value in preserving and improving material conditions move beyond the rhetorical, which is good. It's a co-option to that also because they vindicate current power relations by isolated problems and societal thought rather than power relationships by claiming to solve thought systems. They sanitize the face of Western Senate. philosophy, which will... What? Okay. Now the new evidence. They are the revolutionary hero, taking the first step to make people more white, to telling people to learn language without presenting any kind of strategy that is actionable outside of debate to alleviate native pressure to get back to land. A couple of impacts. The first is theoretical primacy. There's a distinction between politics and the vanguard, which offers concrete strategies, ties to theory, versus their armchair philosophy that takes theory as resolution. It's specific to students exactly like the night who refuse to take part in material political solutions because they are too enamored with theory, just as they refuse to defend a political application of their interrogation routine. They will never spill over to any real political change because there is a difference between their relationship to leaving an oppression and a Bojars because both believes that learning language is sufficient. Politics as conclusion versus politics as process is another important one. Their desire for debate to be viewed in the context of desirability they're all without a process means that we cannot debate it. We have now the code switching stuff. They, that they say we failed the test. This doesn't make sense. If Rashid thought that David dropped arguments and that the logical response is to extend those arguments and try to win the debate on them. This proves that David did respond if he justified the one I see. It also means that this argument can't be an end to itself because code switching can't be an independent reason to, to vote at because there isn't anything about winning that argument independently that changes debate norms. Winning an argument based off your rhymes uh, off its merits of negation is the only thing that can change that. That's why the methodology of debate comes first and outweighs because having to justify change in language in and of themselves is better. All right, seven and a half. Ready? Hill 97 says the debate is like the classroom is now in a white Russian ideology that frowns upon black aesthetics and black communication style that pushes blacks further down the hill of disadvantage. It makes it hard to recruit for that activity. Uh, Cold switching is defined how fairness in debate plays out. White debaters are never forced to learn black vernacular, while black voters are forced to learn and engage white vernacular. This influences what perspective ideologies are valued and impact the type of education that's produced in the activity. No, this does not mean the ad needs to engage in a rap battle. However, there are nine competitive response style spits, and most of our arguments prove, uh, 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 prove uh, yeah, prove how close we should argument, which means they lose. Plan fails because it fails to even engage, you know what I'm saying, the language of the oppression that's right in front of their faces, which means they fail the litmus test. And, and, and fairness is an important issue in this debate, which means we win because it was unfair if we walked in. And our methods functions to increase black thought within, le within leveling the playing field. Voting, uh, uh, voting niggas is a precondition of fairness within this debate. And the coast switching argument is a single voting issue. The fact, that the, the fact that he spent the last 30 seconds to answer this shows how he doesn't care about the oppressed people we speak about. The death the, 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 the death of kids
is, uh, the result of my, because, uh, because uh, this oppression, it never comes up in none of the speeches, which means they lose. And also shows you how like they strategically will, will, will pick and choose what they want to hear and what they want to acknowledge and what they want to uh, kind of advance. The policy making, pro uh, the policy making process renders gender, class, and social, uh, and, uh, social class and unimportant. It's also not accessible to most minorities and impacts the debate of being mostly white. That's my sharp evidence. My, better, my, my, my evidence is better than this because it's specific to the policy debate and not as policy making in the abstract. They want us to play policy like policy don't play us. Like every like every example they have, like especially on their they say the plan is the only way. Like this is the, uh, the policy making is grounded in a narrow, falsely objective, overly instrumental view of rationality and mass late biases, allowing policy elites and technocrats in the app to present analysis as plans are neutral when they objectively, when they are actually linked and uh, linked and tied to the prevailing races of power, like white supremacy and industrial uh, in the prison industrial complex. When everybody said they got me trapped in this prison industrial seclusion, niggas coming out when they, when they, when they went in, like the midst of the theoretical frameworks to dominate the current policy making ignores the disadvantage in my, minority voices, uh, further pushes political disenfranchisement. Uh, and then the plan provides a view from nowhere that assumes you can connect with the oppressed by just literally giving up a little wind and solar energy. This is what you end up with, like, like, this is what you time to at the end of the debate. This, 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 is what you, like, this is what you vote on, Judge, this plan right here. This plan does not guarantee that the United States federal government will respect this claim, all of a sudden, which historically they proved in cross X that there has been many promises made legally, policy, legislatively, politically, that, and they, they've been going back on. He also proved, in, and cross X also exemplifies how they strategically chose to acknowledge and like put forth this, you know what I'm saying, thing, uh, 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 this argument. And when you claim to get, uh, when, you, when you claim to get like self determination or uh, uh, a sovereignty by doing the plantation, they should lose because it's the same logic of giving a band aid solution for a gunshot wound. It's fucked up. And like the affirmative team has employed the term tribe as uniquely created and re-entrenched in the colonialist ideology within the room. Their speech act has categorized Native Americans as less than humans and forecloses any ability that they can uh, perceive as nations worthy of self-determination. You must reject the rhetoric of extermination to reject the affirmative to avoid genocide. The damage has already been done. The affirmative cannot go back and erase what they have done through a positive affirmation. This uh, this in round uh, this in round impact comes before comes before any any policy simulation. Thus must be evaluated for anything else in this room. Also, my little thing I asked, I, I told him to call me a nigga, right? His, 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 his like, oh shit, did he, he really ask me that? Like, how he got uncomfortable, I'm asking him, proves the argument that shit, language matters. We should focus on language. <laughs> also, like, I church your uh, uh, car from, from the, uh, 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 Specifically states that the ongoing use of tribalism ideology leads directly to the physical and cultural extermination of Native, uh, uh, Native Americans. Even if you believe that you are policy makers in this round, your attempt to solve a problem is still based on the underlying assumption that the Native, uh, the, the, the Native Americans or tribes are inherently less available within other people, particularly Western citizens of the United States federal government. Any advantages gained from the plan are best official attempts to mask the tribalism ideology that justifies the deadly ratification of Native, uh, of Native American and cultural lives. And look at, uh, look, policy making and debate comes with a system. False attachment. The United States federal government is an illegitimate government that established through the genocide and enslavement of black and red bodies. The government does not need to. Uh, the, the, the government does not need to be the, uh, the act and better in the community. It's like we don't expect a criminal gunman to perform surgery on his own victim. Community organizing like a Rainbow Coalition and like he pointed out the Black Panthers prove how disenfranchised communities don't need to disenfranchise the government to softly empower the community. Reed Brinkley says, when we call the United States federal government, we are not immune to the cause of this. This means that, that, that this means they put in that, uh, that call for the government for some negative action. This account on influence, not the, the U.S. colonial legacy, no such thing as a, as a neutral action. There are two gratuitous impacts uh, to, to, to that practice, which is going to be another reason on why they lose. First, it perpetuates the ongoing genocide in, uh, 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 against indigenous people, and it also legitimizes the same government that continually continuously lies to the natives in, uh, on giving them land back and also doing them treaties. And second, it legitimizes the same government that labels black people as a person, the same government that continues to further disenfranch uh, disenfranchise blacks. My evidence is better than that because it's specific to policy debate, not making po uh, not policy making the abstract. Reed Ricky says policy making pretending to be the United States federal government, it really distances them from what's going on. And this obviously, it's, it, it proves when they fail the test. They're getting no firm. Every time, like, like, like it doesn't reason me getting any link, that mean they get no firm. That mean they lose. And on top of that, they kind of put a burden on us to say, well, you have to prove some, 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 some. Like, no. And also, like, pretty much the question of this argument will come down to the, like, the next level. Like, within this debate space, they ask, prove how they have engaged within the language from this oppressed people within this language, within this debate space, how they go to the next level. They have proven within this debate space how they will act and function within the next level and not engaging or even understanding or, or, or even really, like, Listening to the idea, the uh, the oppressed ball game.
They failed the test. The last two minutes of the one yard presented a meta level impact framing argument that they are not responding to. We said yes, you can give lots of reasons the ass is bad, that's fine, they will probably win a lot of alternative causalities. The ass solving name impression, fine, but you cannot vote for the status quo. They have not justified an alternative strategy based upon praxis that are new in the evidence outlines or arguments isolate solve offensive reasons why even if the ass might not change the conditions of the state and the structural conditions of violence of the status quo, there's an existential ethic to seek poverty alleviation, to seek actual uh, alleviation of the harms that are uh, ongoing because those because of the, the because uh, the violence that is ongoing is something that should that is uh, always framed out by uh, white philosophers. We think that we can conceptualize things like uh, big war impacts that go boom, nuclear war, etc., and framing out uh, the ways that violence is ongoing and daily, and that we need to prioritize that kind of ethic. The uh, idea that people have the luxury, that native people have the luxury to keep waiting for us to be more aware about their situation is fundamentally one of privilege because we don't need to be more aware of, of their situation. Their, uh, the strategy of the white the philosophy, learning the language of the oppressed sounds like bullshit to me. I don't need to learn the Cherokee language to know that they're being fucked by the state and they don't either. Calling this a strategy is a tool of the white philosophy they criticize. Our audience indicates this can always sanitize white philosophy because the strategies of rhetoric and strategies of kind of testing uh, these methods of looking at the world instead of these methods of materially dealing with the world are rooted fundamentally in Western epistemology that uh, always leads back to the kind of uh, impacts and to the impact that they isolate, which is very vague in the Twitter. So uh, you should give me some leeway on this because this is a flag as a case turn in the 1AR and a co-option disadvantage. Also, our new Amendments for Rights presents a bright line for alternative advocacies to meet our argument. There needs to be a praxis of theory and action, mor 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 morality, and whether the strategy is good is bad or, or bad is always material. It is mediated by what we do or what we advocate being. Morality doesn't happen in abstraction. They advocate no alternative method of remedying native aggression, and certainly not in the 2NR. New evidence is highly specific to students and to make these kinds of advocacies always stay stuck in the class, and we can always uh, understand more. We can always develop a better uh, abstract strategy without ever going out into the world and dealing with it, which is why you can endorse the one AC action as a counter to this because uh, the way we can see that the 1AC at least solves a little bit of native poverty, which is an impact that you should prioritize as something that is good, even if uh, the state, of the, even if we don't solve it, the entirety of colonization, which is not the 1AC impact, our new evidence also, uh, uh, yeah, my mind. Code switching. They're conceding Paul's argument that if they think that we dropped an argument, they should have extended the argument uh, if it answers the 1AC, our overview arguments frame out uh, their code switching arguments. It cannot be an independent reason to vote for them because there is no end to itself to uh, understanding language that the only end is in presenting an uh, alternative advocacy to uh, try to, to remedy strikes they oppress. For example, justifying uh, giving Beth Land a specific uh, methodology as to how we relate to the state in terms of actualizing that is the way uh, that it is the way this could have been actualized. And if they say uh, is the way this could have been actualized, obviously all language is code switching. I'm uh, speaking a lot faster than I do in real life. I'm talking to a judge, a uh, third person to the people who I'm debating. Yes, I'm debating, which is obviously not something that I uh, constantly do in real life, but the way uh, that language specifically has to work, and the only way that this can be uh, can become an actual way to change the status quo is through uh, positively uh, affirmation of different strategies, which is what are Newton isolates. So there's no reason that they, uh, as to why debate should be a place where we talk about the language of debate and not a place where we can test alternative and competing strategies for dealing uh, with the oppressors. The 2 r does not uh, describe in the slightest. He says that the last 30 seconds prove that Paul did that, that we don't care about the impression. We answered it in the last 30 seconds because it was at the bottom of the block, and that's where we flew to, which proves that we were uh, paying attention to all the arguments and answering them in order. They say uh, that they, uh, they, 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 they say that plan, uh, they said a plan is the only way rhetoric is too instrumental. There is always contingency integral to debate. Yes, we say that the plan is the way that we think is best to solve this specific argument. They have said reasons why it might not solve it. They have not presented an uh, offensive alternative reasons that can remedy uh, the Conditions status quo, whereas we can. They say uh, that the plan doesn't guarantee that the U.S. and government won't uh, be colonial. So our overview proves that this is not uh, offensive as above. Also, we think uh, that we do. We, first of all, there are a lot of arguments about the trust doctrine uh, that are uh, conceded. There uh, is fundamentally they're conceding that progress for uh, native peoples is something that is possible, uh, and specifically in this social movement, this is the best first step. Our Wilkins law evidence indicates that a failure to, remember, to, to continue the trust doctrine means that there uh, any possible alternative will only be stuck in a libertarian social values. Uh, the, 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 Liberty and such values where uh, the hick in Mississippi gets to gets to lynch uh, uh, gets to lynch a, a black person, or uh, where, where, where people uh, around the reservation get to continue to sell alcohol and corporates continue to exploit uh, Native peoples. Our mills them so that we can move away from, from this form of corporate and from, from this form of sovereignty to uh, allow Native tribes to challenge uh, the, the uh, to challenge the sovereignty of the United States tribal government because uh, creating the initial self sufficiency is a necessary first state. Because uh, Paul's analogy I think is pretty good that when uh, you put a person in prison for uh, four hundred years or. 60 years and then let them out and they have uh, no family, no home, and no money, just saying, uh, okay, nice, you're on your own is not uh, the best strategy and that's not the first step.
best step for uh, making that person's life better, uh, they say that they uh, go to the like term tribes debate. Our own view arguments built on this too. The argument is not that language doesn't matter, and obviously does language is bad when trying to formulate strategies specifically or offer that in case that when we have already come to a consensus uh, that the native peoples, Indians, tribes, whatever you want to call them, are uh, oppressed in the status quo, that this is something that we need to prioritize as formally a strategy to, uh, to, to believe this is, or it is a uh, position of luxury to first talk about how, what we should call them, which is what uh, the only possible alternative to this argument is being, which is why the impacts of the one I see will always outweigh this argument. We have also uh, reconsidered evidence that tribe is not a, 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 a historically negative language. Native groups have reappropriated the term tribe, just like uh, they, they have, have reappropriated the term tribe, which is why Churchill's analysis is fundamentally inaccurate. They say the USFG is illegitimate. We're a native state action. This is our permutation argument. We don't think that it's the only step or the last step. We think that it's the best for first step, and they have presented a different first step. They say the debate is about who gets to the next level. We think they're at a lower level. They say the Black Panthers proved that there are alternatives to state-based solutions. Why don't they advocate for them? 